So we're here on Minette Butters Farm. Met is the president of the National Farmers Union and we're supporting the Big Farmland Bird Count which is a, a project that's run, it's the sixth year and it's managed by the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust. We're asking farmers to get out onto their farms across the country, spend about 30 minutes counting the bird life that they have on their land partly so that we can get a bit more of a picture of uh, what's going on in terms of wildlife health on farms and also to connect farmers with the wildlife on their farms and to show the public that actually farmland is a fantastic resource for uh, wildlife conservation. Why should farmers get involved with this camp? So there are a number of reasons. One is that the farmers as uh, stewards of the, the wildlife on their land, generally pretty busy people, you know, if they're out doing uh, whichever kind of farming they're involved in day to day, probably don't have a huge amount of time to stop and take stock of the fantastic wildlife that they're caring for on their land. It's also really useful in terms of citizen science for us to um, have a bit more of a, a clearer picture of what's out there. And from the perspective of the Campaign for the Farm and Environment, it's the the starting point, I suppose, for caring for that wildlife that's on farm. Actually, if we know what that is, it's much easier for us to take steps to then look after it. So it, it gives us a really good knowledge base to then take steps. So if we know that there are particular kinds of birds, for example, that need particular kind of uh, feeding habitats or breeding habitats, we can uh, ask farmers to do more to provide that, which obviously then looks after populations and um, supports those, uh, those birds into the future. And it also hopefully raises public awareness that farmers are doing good stuff for wildlife. There's often quite a, a disconnect between town and country or the farming population and farming community and other conservation organisations, so bird watchers and people who support uh, conservation charities, and a misunderstanding of the fact that actually we're all working towards the same thing, which is healthy wildlife populations in the countryside.